This is Brother Peter Diamond, VaticanCatholic.com. This is quite interesting. A grand jury in Oregon has indicted a major pro-homosexual and pro-abortion activist named Terrence Bean on charges of pederasty with a 15-year-old boy. Bean is the founder of HRC, the Human Rights Campaign, an extremely aggressive and influential pro-homosexual group that puts pressure on businesses, groups, corporations, etc., demanding that they accept homosexuality and promote the homosexual agenda. In fact, HRC is the largest pro-homosexual lobby group in the country. Bean is also a major Democratic Party fundraiser. His organization has also lobbied Congress to end all funding for abstinence education. Some describe the Human Rights Campaign, the pro-homosexual, pro-abortion group Bean founded, as one that seeks to eradicate Christian beliefs from the mainstream segment of society. Quote, Bean 66, a prominent gay rights activist and major Democratic Party fundraiser, was arrested at his home in southwest Portland. The indictment charges Bean with two counts of third-degree sodomy, a felony, and one count of third-degree sex abuse. The boy was 15. Bean has also been one of the state's biggest Democratic donors and an influential figure in gay rights circles in the state. He helped found two major national political groups, the Human Rights Campaign and the Gay and Lesbian Victory Fund and has been a major contributor for several Democratic presidential candidates, including Barack Obama. He's also a close friend of former Governor Barbara Roberts. He has also ridden with Obama on, quote, Air Force One. Homosexuality is an unnatural and perverted sexual inclination resulting from apostasy and idolatry. See Romans chapter 1. And homosexual behavior is a mortally sinful abomination condemned in both the Old and New Testaments. We, of course, desire that all homosexuals cease their gravely sinful and unnatural behavior and convert to the traditional Catholic faith outside of which there is no salvation. Homosexuals can be converted from their unnatural inclination and behavior as well. See 1 Corinthians 6, 9-11. But God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah for homosexual behavior. Frankly, he detests it more than almost anything else, as it represents something so contrary to what he created from the very beginning, one man and one woman. It's opposed to the most fundamental aspects of the natural law. Moreover, pedophiles and many other abominable perverts make the same arguments for their perversions that homosexuals do. Namely, they claim they are born that way, that their perverted activity is loving, etc. When people hear that a homosexual is a pederast, they should not be surprised. (laughs) 